So I'm here to talk to you about WeRoll and the reason we started this is actually because we feel like stories are meant to be told together. And for us it's about a day you spend with, with your friends as it is to a big trip that you take. It's about big events and even smaller ones that you have. It's about every story that you've shared with someone and you want to keep alive. But here's the thing, we take so many pictures to keep these stories alive and in the end it's really hard to get them all back to the same place. And we feel like it's hard to keep stories together. And when we started this, our goal was to understand this. How are groups of people sharing photos today? Okay, so there's mainly three ways we do this. And the first one is about storing. If you want to store pictures, what you do is you basically use cloud drives, email, and even practical storage that we have every day. It's not real time and it's not as easy as it is because it has no social layer. And then you have the organizing part. If you want to organize all your photos, what you do is you use shared albums, you use hashtags and even photo streams. The cool thing is about this is that it organizes everything, but it's not real time. So you see the photos only afterwards. We take the photos and then we upload them all back to the same place. And finally, you have real time. So if you care about real time and seeing what's happening around you with a group of friends, uh, it's actually good you have messaging apps, camera apps, and even creative apps, but in the end, you don't get the real sense of the whole story. Not everything is as organized as it should be. So for us, it was about taking the best out of these three to create WeRoll. We call it real-time group photo sharing, and we think it's one of the best ways for groups of people to take pictures together. So let me tell you what makes this different. So the first part is we're all about the experience. Most people, when talk about group photos, they mean combining. We're so much more about capturing together. Okay, so let me tell you a bit more. So you can cre basically create your own roles with different people. You have different friends. And so Photos are instantly added in real time, and you can see how things are happening. Really pretty st straightforward. And one cool thing about us is the camera. So when you tap the camera button, it pops right up, and then you take a photo, it gets instantly shared. So you don't get no prompt, just get shared pictures. It's like a real camera roll in your phone right now, but now share with different people. So long story short, it's like you have different cameras, but you share the same camera roll. We're in beta right now, and our goal is to become the number one group media uh, sharing app. So. How do we make this happen? We're, look, we're now looking for a cloud storage partnership. And if you're wondering, yep, that's us looking at the clouds. And our goal is to become a partner with them, creating leads, and then trying to charge on top of their own business model. So that's we rule. If you want to talk to me, you have my email. I'll just leave it there for the next 24 seconds. And OK, thank you. You instantly share the picture, right? Yeah. But uh, that could be dangerous, right? Yeah, that's the cool part. So it's, uh, the thing about real time, yeah, it's dangerous. <laughs> but the cool thing about this is sort of the user experience. What happens a lot of times is you take a picture, you get prompt, and then you add a description. So here is all in, at the same time. Basically, it allows you to create a way for people to share pictures. And then if you want to remove it, it actually remo removes the picture from all the roles uh, in different phones. OK. okay? okay. If okay. People you can actually import the picture. If people import the picture, you get notified. So you can get it back. Yeah, okay. you can take it back. Yeah. <laughs> One of the first questions we got when we started this. So, yeah, cool question. Question from back here. Go to the left, right here. Uh, one, one thing maybe didn't get it. What's the big difference to a shared folder on, on a Dropbox or whatever? Yeah, that's another really cool question. So for us, I mean, Dropbox, it's, it's really about the combining part. So there's this market where we, where the market where we're at is called photo syncing market. And basically, happens is how do you get people's people take a lot of pictures? Uh, there's a lot of theories about what is the ratio of number of photos taken and number of the photos shared, and that goes from one to ten from professional photographers that take a hundred pictures to share just one, and so Dropbox is about combining. You take a lot of pictures with your own phone, and then you sort of pick the ones that you want and you share them. So there's no big social layer on top of it, and in the end, it's not, not, not as automatic, automatic in real time as it should be. For us, it's about sharing camera rolls. The difference is once you, sh you create a camera roll and then you take pictures and those pictures get instantly shared. So it's different from an album because of this, actually. When you take a picture, it gets instantly shared like you're on your own phone. If you notice when you take a picture on your iPhone, uh, you take a picture and it gets instantly shared. So there's no prompt. They don't ask you, Are you wanted, do you want to share this picture? Or there's no follow-up button. So the difference is you had real time. We sort of work on top of it in terms of organizing the photos. So you get time sections. Didn't have time to show it there. And then you get the, all the organizing part in the interface in real time. So Dropbox, it's not as real time as we are. There's a lot of solutions that are trying to do the same things we do in a different way. So they're also sharing camera rolls. But they're doing, sorry, doing it differently. 
but uh, uh, Dropbox for us is sort of a partner in terms of the way on top of the work they are a cloud storage provider. Okay. Any more questions? Uh, we're in beta right now, so the problem is we're, we're trying, we had these problems with the development and then we're trying now to get some sort of uh, traction to understand the real features before launching out the app. So there are some things we think are cool, but we're still trying to figure so out. So we have another don't, question sorry, here. Sorry, do, uh, doesn't Google Photos do most of the things that you are saying? They also have a button also when you take pictures that you can upload to an album, insurance, etc. So what do you do differently? Yeah, Google, Google Photos, yeah. So there's also Facebook moments. There's a lot of these competitors. But the thing for, for us is we're trying to be a social layer on top of the camera. They're not. They're trying to be the way you organize your photos. We're trying to be the social layer. Instead of you picking up your camera's phone, what our goal is to become the camera of your phone, OK? Because you have the real social layer on top of your camera roll. Instead of taking a picture and then share it to some, some place, you just take the picture, get instantly shared. So we're trying to, our biggest, we say that our biggest competitor is actually the camera of the phone. What if you don't look good in the picture? Sorry? What if you don't look good in the picture? I, as I said, you can just take it back. The cool <laughs> thing is that private album, so your friends Thank know you. how you look like. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>